In this video, we're going to take a look at a Moran process, but on a game. So if we have a matrix A, um, a general matrix, a general two by two matrix, and so this applies for uh, games where we have two types of individuals. And what we're going to use, we're going to use this matrix here to define the fitness of our population. So um, as an example, imagine we have a population with uh, seven individuals, and four of them are of um, the first type, and three of them are of the second type, okay? And the first step of a Moran process is uh, selection for reproduction. And selection for reproduction happens relative to the fitness. So uh, individuals who are doing well based on the frequency of the uh, types of individuals in the population are more likely to get picked. So, yeah. for example, let's say we would pick a, uh, an, a an individual of the, the first type, and that would be our um, reproduce step. And so we would now have one, two, three, four, and a fifth individual of uh, the first type. But now we have eight individuals in, in total. So now we would choose so, uh, we have another selection step, but selection for, for death. And um, this would be completely random. So this would have nothing to do with the fitness of the individuals. So for example, uh, let's say this individual here was selected for um, death. We'd end up back at essentially the same situation as before. With... Um, seven individuals, four of the first type. Okay, so that's a, that's a general um, idea behind a Moran process is that you then, a Moran process on a game is that you then repeat this again and again and again. At some point you'll have nothing but individuals of the first type or nothing but individuals of the second type. But this, this step here is the important one. This step here is, is the interesting one and it's how we define the probabilities with which we're going to select the individuals. And this comes from um, the, the matrix itself. So for example, if we write down F1i to be the fitness of individuals of the first type when there are i individuals of the first type. And n is going to be our total number of individuals. And so we can essentially write, write this down. So an individual of the first type gets A when they meet an individual of the first type, the first column, okay? So um, they get A, I minus one of the time, all right? Because if they're I individuals of the first type, that means that for a given individual of the first type, there are I minus one other individuals of the first type. And every time that individual interacts with one of those individuals, they get A. Um, they get B, N minus I of the time. If we have N individuals in total, N minus I of them are going to be of the second type. And we divide everything by N minus one uh, as a sort of normalization. F2I is the number of individuals of the second type, given that they're I individuals of the first type. And so that's going to be C times I, because if an, an individual of the second type will meet I individuals of the first type getting C, and then they'll get D and minus I minus one of the time, and we divide all that by N minus one. And so these are our fitnesses. And so this is gonna feed into the probabilities with which we select an individual for, uh, re, re, for, for to, to reproduce. And so, um, those probabilities are going to be pi i plus 1. So the probability of having i individuals of the first type and then at the next step having i plus 1 individuals of the first type. And so it's just a weighted probability um, for selection, for reproduction. We're going to have i times f1i divided by i times f1i plus um, n minus i times F2i. So that's saying that uh, the probability of selecting an individual of the first type is going to be 
um, i individuals of the first type, and they each have a score of f1i, so that's their, their weight, and then the total weight of all the individuals is um, i f1i plus n minus i f2i, so the f2i, the weight of the second individuals. And that's our, our um, uh, reproduction step, and then our, our, our death step is just a completely uniform um, chance, so we need to select an individual of the first type for selection for birth, that's this, and then we need to select an individual of the second type for death. But remember, death, uh, the selection is done completely uniformly. So we go n minus i divided by i. And then the probability of going down, so having i individual of the first type and going to i minus one of them, is essentially very similar. It's um, n minus i times f2i divided by i f2i plus n minus i f 2i multiplied by i divided by n. And so these are our probabilities of going up in the number of individuals of, uh, of the first type or down in the number of individuals of the first type. And that's all we actually need to make use of the, the general formula for the, the birth death process, which is uh, needs to make use of this, that uh, this gamma i, which is equal to pi i minus 1 divided by pi i plus 1. And this goes back to the theorem in uh, the notes in the previous video. And um, once we've done that, if we if we look at this, we see the various things that cancel out. So this n will cancel out with this n, this denominator will cancel out with this denominator, this n minus i will cancel out with this n minus i, and this i will cancel out with this i. And so in fact, what we're um, left with is f2i divided by f1. And then we can use this expression, which is based on the a, b, c, and d of defining i, to write down that xi is equal to, and again, this is a, this is a theorem that we've looked at before, um, the sum from j equals 1 um, to i minus 1 of the product from k equals 1 to j of gamma k divided by 1 plus the sum um, j equals 1 to n minus 1 of the product from k equals 1 to j of, of gamma k. And that gives us a, a nice quick way to calculate the probability of a, of a particular number of individuals of one type being able to uh, invade individuals of another type. So, for example, um, going back to the idea of red being individuals of the first type, if we have this... Uh, one individual of the first type trying to invade a certain number of individuals of uh, the second type, this would be given by um, the notation we use is row one, which is just x one, okay? But if we had the opposite, where we had um, multiple individuals of the first type and we want to invade with one individual of um, the second type, we, we're looking at, um, row 2, so this is the fixation of an individual of the second type, um, to be 1 minus xn minus 1. So xn minus 1 is the probability of the reds here, the individual of the first type in this situation, being able to take over. So we want that not to happen. And that is the general uh, Moran process on a game.